Caleb, man, really excited that uh, we get to spend a minute with you and, and hear your story today. So let's talk about your childhood a little bit. Tell me about your family and what it was like growing up. Um, I had a pretty simple childhood. Um, my parents split when I was five, so I spent most of my time at my dad's throughout the week, and then every weekend I'd go see my mom. Um, I grew up with two brothers. Uh, my dad worked most of the time, so about 13 I had to step up and help take care of them, make sure they were fed before dad got home, things like that. Take us back to um, one night in your childhood that kind of sticks out in your memory that kind of moved you into a new a new way of living. Talk about that if you can. Okay. Um, it was November, real dark night, started raining. We were actually um, coming home from church. Um, I was in the back behind my father driving um, on I-59, headed home, and we were, just, we were going by 65, 70, and there had just happened to be a uh, truck driver who was carrying a crane on a little boy trailer. Um, he had some kind of system failure and didn't pull off the road fully, so we hit the rear end of his trailer going about 65, 70 miles an hour. Um, that impact threw me forward. Uh, the car only had lap belts at that moment in time, so it threw me forward and actually broke my T78 vertebrae. Um, and then as the driver was pulling us out of the car, him pulling me out by my shoulders nicked my spinal cord, and was, which is what caused my paraplegia. Wow. And so you, you get in this accident, and what do you do? You remember anything? I'm actually the, one of the only ones that remembers anything. Um, my other family members that were there have small glimpses, but I remember the impact. I'm the only one. It was a, uh, it was almost like a split second. You know, I saw the end, rear end of the trailer, and then it was black. I mean, like what you'd see in a movie. Yeah. Um, I woke up from that blackout. Um, after that, I blacked out again. I uh, woke up. My sister was screaming for me. Uh, my father was covered in blood, uh, head through the windshield totally passed out. Um, he was actually pronounced dead on scene, but was revived later in the hospital. Uh, my mother and brother took minimal in injuries, and then my sister actually broke her back in the same spot as me, but her spinal cord was fine, so she's walking now. Wow. And now, uh, this put some added stress on your family, I'm sure. Yeah, it was actually only a few months after we were released from the hospital that my parents split. Um, it was right at five years old that my parents split. Um, it was rough, didn't really understand what was going on. Um, I remember a lot of crying, a lot of yelling, a lot of, well, disappointment on our end, because that was our parents, you know, we wanted them to be together. How did you find a new normal with your life, and, and what did you do moving forward from the accident and then also um, your parents splitting up? Well, I, I realized that I had to rely a lot on myself. Um, I spent a lot of time alone. Uh, mainly watching movies. Movies have always been my passion, so I'd spend a lot of time doing that. And that is kind of my escape. That's how I learned to cope with what I went through. Because I see all these characters in a movie, you know, this person that has this strong hardship or this, you know, person that, that feels like they can't be redeemed. And I kind of lived through those stories. So for a while, I kind of took myself out of reality and lived in that for a few years. Yeah, and you're a comic book guy, right? Huge comic book guy. And what's your, like, what's the number one, like, what's the comic book character that you love more than anything? Iron Man. Iron Man. Tony Stark. <laughs> Anybody who knows me knows that, especially if you've been to my apartment. That's right. <laughs> so uh, take me forward a little bit. You got into college mm -hmm. and you really felt like it was time to really work hard towards a goal. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Um, and you started training for the Paralympics, right? Yes. So tell us oh, about yes. that because that's an amazing story. Oh, yeah. That, that was definitely a big, big event for me. I remember getting a call from uh, Elaine Adams. She was a director in Chattanooga over. Um, like handicapped sports and groups, and she was like, hey, we have this uh, coach for the Nordic Biathlon team, and he is looking for some people to join, and I thought of you. But now, even though you knew the Lord at this time, mm -hmm. life kind of got in the way, right? Yeah, when I, I, uh, I had actually got a sponsor who, she saw me on the news, and she decided that, you know, she believed in me enough that she wanted to help me out. So she paid for airfare, gear, my skis, uh, actually the chair that I'm sitting in, um, she gave me a lot. She eventually gave me a condo and a car. She even put me through school. Wow, you kind of had it, had it all. I had it made. I ended up getting sick and wasn't able to train uh, for, for a few months. So being on bed rest, kind of started gaining some weight. Um, I got out of shape. And then I started getting really depressed. I didn't know where it came from, but you know, I, I was used to being alone. I don't know why that drove me so nuts. Um, I started partying a lot. Um, drinking girls, drugs, 
anything I can get my hands on to kind of numb my mind, numb what I was thinking about. So that actually led to me losing it all, the whole sponsorship, the whole deal. Um, and from then on out, I, I, I kind of actually went nuts. I spent two weeks in a, in a home and got myself straightened out. Uh, so you kind of hit rock bottom. That was my rock bottom. You're 17, you had everything. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, basically, you kind of wake up one day and you don't recognize who you are and you've got mm -hmm. nothing. Yeah, I mean, looking in the mirror was, was definitely hard for me. I, I couldn't face myself knowing what I had done to myself. So you were in Chattanooga. Yeah. And then you, after all that happened, you found your way back here to Cookville. Yes. With some family. Yes. And you came to Life Church. Mm-hmm. Uh, my mother actually, she she was going here, and she kept you know getting on me. You sh you really should come. The music, the, the the lyrics, the the words that Pastor Greg, it, it was it was what I needed. Um, it was definitely a turning point. It was what I needed to hear, and almost immediately I uh, I got involved here. Um, yeah, you went through one of the very first Apex courses yep. that we had I remember here on like campus. Yesterday. Yeah. Um, I actually I work in the media booth. I do uh, lights and producing and whatever, well, whatever you ask me to do. Uh, <laughs> I'm here for you. Um, I, I love this job. Uh, it's it's more than a job. Going back to my love for movies and things, this has actually helped me to realize my dreams and my goals. And I've I've been working harder than ever at anything I have in my life for this. Well, not only do I serve in the media booth, my my girlfriend Kelsey serves as well. Um, my mother makes all the food for the uh, cafe, and then my stepdad has served as an usher. Right. So, yeah, it's kind of a, a team effort. And so, man, it's, it's an honor to have you serve in our teams, and we love you here at Life Church. <laughs> so one of the things we do every month here at the church is we ask everybody to give one dollar. And I know you know this script. <laughs> We put all those dollars together, man, and we get to do something really, really fun. And uh, we've been looking forward to this for months. And um, you are our Dollar Club recipient this month. <laughs> and so I'm really excited, man. Like, we're so excited for you. Here in a couple minutes, we've got something for you outside. So, man, I love you. The church loves you. Um, you want to go outside with us? Yeah. <laughs> is that yeah. cool? <laughs> All right. All right, so here's how this is going to work. Um, you got to stay here for a second. All right, man. Three, two, one. Check this out. 